Hello, this is Nani Goji, and I'm going to give you my top seven favorite bands. Off the top of my head. Number seven. Disturb. Yeah. Well, what can I say about this band? As I always said before, from the hit songs like uh, Fence for One, Down with Sickness, and the most popular song of all, Sound of Science, which is a cover. That's really think think it's like uh, 800 million views over like 800 million views it's got like tons of views on YouTube I think one of the most it's one of the most iconic bands in my see and I just I love it when they go like the grunge round when they go all deep in the voice I always love that fucking band I listen I used back in high school I think I got introduced to this band back in like middle school and I just fell in love with this band It was like one of my favorite bands that I loved to listen to in middle school. And coming in, and speaking of heavy metal bands, comes Nets Band, which. <laughs> coming in, number six, we got System of the Down. Yep. System of the Down, one of the most popular bands of all time. With the most popular song being at one million views, even though it's not my favorite song, I think like Ariel's. <laughs> it's probably my favorite song from the band. It's a pretty cool song it's from the album Toxicity, which is also one of the best albums. I think Chop Suey was probably on. Well, actually, I think it's on like every album. Like Chop Suey is like one of the most popular songs. I pretty sure like everybody did a cover on that. Good just the guy who did like a drum project drum kit cover. I prefer Goose like over like metric drums. But anyway that band is amazing. It revolutionized freaking rock and made rock. Actually I think that was like the most popular band back in the two thousands. Even though I was probably too young to remember anything from the 2000s, the only bands I do remember from the 2000s later on this list. But top three favorite songs are Chop Suey, Toxicity, and Aerials. Those are my top three favorite songs from that band. But coming in at number five is Breaking Benjamin. And I've listened to this band back in like, whew, I think like 2015, 2016. I was like a teenager when I got introduced to this band. Like, this band was we Listening to like Breaking, even though Big like Balls songs came like in the 2000s, I got introduced to them like seven years. And my favorite album is still Phobia. Like I think my favorite I remember this song so well. Like Dance with the Devil. Oh, oh my god, that's my favorite song of all that's one of my favorite songs from Breaking Benjamin. One of the best songs, even though I'm surprised I didn't get that many views on YouTube. Even though Diary Dream probably got like it's probably like what, two hundred million views on YouTube. But Dance with the Devil, I will agree is the best song. And before you say anything, no, it's not them literally dance with devil. It's them fighting. The song is present as them find your inner demons inside. And that's why I love the song because it really hits you hard. So is Diary of Jane. I guess it's it's about well, I can't remember. Well, it's basically. Fighting through depression, fighting through anything. You must break. You must break your way through depression. Hits like heavy topics and like most of the songs. Even like Angels Fall is probably one of the best songs too. Like I can name like a ton of songs from that band. Like Blow Me Away, I Would Not Bow, uh, Until the End, Had Enough, and a couple other more. 
I don't think like I can mean, I can tell you like every song from the band. I literally I listen to that band like twenty four seven. I have like tons of songs on Spotify. Like, actually, all those songs on Spotify. And another band that I also listen to is coming out number four. Number four. Three days grace. I'm gonna sing the song now. I hate everything about you. Why do I love you? You hate everything about me. Why do you love me? That's how far I'm gonna get into some because I know I'm gonna get copyright cream for that because yeah. Uh, Three Days Grace is probably one of the best songs. Probably like one of the best bands out there. It's very popular with like songs like I, Animal I Have Become, Good Life, Break, I Am Machine, My Time of Dying, no, My Time of Dying, Time of Dying, Riot, Uh, just to name a few. Like this. And Pain. And Pain. Yeah, Pain. There's like tons of songs I've listened to from that band. I think I've listened to like all their songs on Spotify. Like I did got like tons of songs on Spotify. I actually probably pull up my phone right now. I'll show you what bands I listen to. Like all the songs I got on my f- Yeah, my phone's on here. Oh, there's my alarm. Let's try to put that up. So, I swear, put that somewhere. Yeah, I could probably tell you. Oh, songs I listen to. I got like 500 songs on this puppy on Spotify. Not kidding, I got 500 songs. That's not including my freaking. That's not including all the songs I got on freaking. Mostly listen to like Japanese rock, but it's like it's kind of in bits between there. Can't remember most of the songs from Japanese rock. Okay. Songs I listen to are e rock, um, Sons of Gods of Jesus, Bash. Some of down, uh, so I got like tons of other albums on you. Oh, here we go. Sipna Bish, I guess you could take the count Bish is about man. Not really God's Mad, Three Days Grace, Skelet. Oh, Skelet, perfect man. It's one of the best bands out there. Make tons of Skelet, but I listen to a lot of Skelet. Uh, Nate wants a battle if you can technically call that, you know, it's technically, you just have some work mention in there. Diggy Movie, doing great, I got introduced with, uh, after the hybrid with the final, the ending song that was taken out due to copyright claims. Thank you, YouTube, for giving him a copyright claim, for giving after hybrid a copyright claim. For that song. Thanks, YouTube. God damn it. Freaking YouTube. And then we got songs like. Darren Gray. But St. Child. That's specific. At Japan. But St. Child. That's. Yeah. Go on you. Come Joel. Rather than a Japanese band. High and Mighty Color. Mahima Sam 
the shiz probably recognize like the rumbling. But Saint Child, Kira Mash. As a choice, no. Oh. Sid. Sid Kyle. Sky Van Seven Ford. Lincoln Park. 30 Seconds to Mars. Lisa. One, three days, Grace. But even a little disturb, stain, the offspring, fly leaf, Metallica, Bunch of Metallica, Lincoln Park, this is not down, a perfect circle, aka tool, aka whatever name the other band was. Uh, let's just re listen to a lot of songs. Let's put your face on music. Toka Tokusu Yaka and that's been I said to kill No it doesn't on you. Okay, let's just continue with the countdown because I'll be there all day just as the name of song. This is the same names of the bands. Anyway, Video is Grace one of the best bands out there. I've listened to like tons of songs with them. I think I like they do like all the songs of my feet on Spotify. That is enjoy on Spotify. Best song, top three songs, I hate everything about it. Number three. My time it Animal I've become. Number two, Time Dying. Number one, I hate everything about you. But coming out, number four, number three, Mataka. Can feel, can fuck, give it to the Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> From hit songs like well, Seek and Destroy, whatever. Uh, can't remember the songs, goddammit. Ah, oh, Fuck. Ah. Uh, give me a sec. Four Horsemen. Oh, what's the name of this song? Ah, oh, fuck. Can't believe it. I have listened to this song. God damn it. Oh, man. I drove right there. Whoever may I roam. Uh, what's the name of the song? I can't remember. But you probably know the name of songs. I've listened to like. I just forget the name of the songs, even though it's probably hard to remember. But basically, it goes. But this band revolutionized metal and made metal as popular as today. It wasn't. Yeah, you can say, like, bands like Brad Sabbath, Red Zeppelin, and a couple other bands. Name, a couple other bands revolutionized metal, but none of them made it as popular as freaking Metallica. He may, he may make the other band. They're not the first metal band. But they are the first metal band to revolutionize metal. Fate songs are Seek and Destroy, Four Horsemen, and Fuel. Okay, coming out number one. Not number one. Number two. Evanescence. Where would I be without that band? Oh my god. Evanescence. Okay, this band is actually one of the first rock bands I've ever listened to. I've been listening to them ever since I was like young, like very since I was like five or four. I've been listening to this band ever since. Like back in like two thousand six, I do like a DVD of Evanescence that we used to listen that my parents have, it. and we used to put that thing on nonstop because of how much I love that band. I've been listening to them ever since like my. First band I ever got introduced to. Oh, I mean, I'm at first, but one of the first rock bands I got introduced to. And this man, 
blew my freaking mind. And when I got older, I get to listen to like motor songs, and I got so into this band. I still keep up the, I still keep up this freaking out of all the albums like Lucas, Kimosa, Bitter Truth. I think that's the newest album. Uh, Fallen, uh, fuck, Open Door, and just name a few. Just name a few. I've been listening to this band ever since. Ever since their first song hit YouTube back in 2009. I've been listening to this band for a while now. And I freaking love this band. Favorite songs. Oh. All of them. Just all of them. Because most of the songs are pretty good. And I can't choose a handful. If I was going to choose a handful, I guess, like, My Last Breath. Top five, like, going under my... Ugh, fuck. Going under my immortal. My last breath. Turn again. And bring me to life, of course. Just name top five favorite songs. And coming in at number one. Can't say I castles in the sky. Can't say Okay, freaking baby metal. Oh my god. Okay, I wasn't there like the entire run of baby metal like during the early days. I think I got introduced to them back in late 2017. Late 2017, I got introduced to this band with the, with the hit song Make It to an End. And I. Really falling off that band. After I heard that song, I started listening to tons of big metal bands. I listened to like all the songs, including like the newest album, even though I think it's been a hot minute since they made like a new song. Like, I think the last song they made was like King's Air, and that was like what back in October 2020. They made like a new song since then, mostly due because of the pandemic. But when they do stop making new songs, you better ask. I will start listening. This is one of my most favorite songs of all time. Even after like the departure of you metal, I still listen to this band. This band is one of the best bands out there, and I fuck this band to death. I love them. I love this band to death. This is the. This is one of my favorite men. I can't even name how many songs I like. Like Akoski, Kusune, Karate, Gimme Chocolate, Starlight, The One, Kingslayer, which is technically they get Bring Me Horizon crossover, Papaya, uh, what's the name? GJ, Inchime Dame is not there. <sighs> Oh, way to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Kaga. Kagu. Kagiba. Ultra Majini. Shanti Shanti. Just naming a couple. Uh, yeah. That's not even like all the socks. Yes, it's naming a few. Yeah. We got like over 50 songs and ooh, we are all good. Oh, Hangmanger. Um, man, there's a lot of songs. B. B at M at C. B M C. Slither, B M C. Slither, Yeah, I can still remember like two into the songs. If these is my most favorite band of all time. This will go down in history as one of the best bands of all time. One of the best bands of all time. I don't care what anybody says. It's one of the best metal bands of all time. Probably the weirdest one too. But one of the best metal bands of all time. But if I had to choose which song is the best, I'd probably have to say like... Akatsuki. But, no, uh, but... Mikatsune, I would say Mikatsune because it does hold a special place in my heart. 
because that was the first song I ever listened to the way when I talked. Yeah, I'll just say it because the name. But that's my top seven favorite bands. But this is gonna go to sign off and remember stay big wild fans.